Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Now this is just going to be a quick update video because I'm still working on the next bigger videos for my YouTube channel. First and foremost, I want to call out that I'm intending to run a bit of a Q&A, which I haven't done in about five years or so. It's been forever ago. So if there are any questions that you would like me to try to answer, just leave them down in the comment section below. I've also got a post up on the YouTube community tab as well as Twitter and Facebook. If you prefer to go to those platforms, just, just drop me your questions. Also, since I now feel pretty settled in on this space, I also intend to do a studio tour in the not too distant future. So if there's something specific specific that you'd like me to talk about, you know, how I've set up certain things, assuming that they're of interest to you, drop me those comments down below as well. Now a really quick update on my recently restarted game development journey. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I've released a video, a vlog for that a little while ago. So you can go and check that out if you're interested and you know, see what that's all about and the potential Unity tutorials coming out of that soon-ish. So just a quick update on where things are at. I've gotten set up and a bit more familiar with Unity. I've started experimenting with some of the tool sets as well as some of the gameplay possibilities. So I've kind of put together a little bit of 2.5D style thing because I'm not sure whether pure pixel art is going to work. I want something that's 3D-ish but turned pixel art, similar to what Corekeeper have done. So again, nothing set in stone. I'm just playing with ideas and getting used to, you know, how to write the scripts and how the engines work, the render pipelines, how to do shading, creating game objects, instances, particles, and all of that stuff. Got some basic physics going so you can jump around. But again, it's all super early days, nothing set in stone. I'm just playing and experimenting at this point in time. Something a little bit more concrete is that I'll probably make a couple of tutorials for how to create movies in Unreal Engine, simply because I've used it for my opening sequence for the action VFX sales. I've kind of set up a whole environment in Unreal Engine, added a stock footage explosion, animated a camera, and then rendered the whole thing out into a little bit of a movie sequence. And Unreal Engine is a great tool for filmmakers because you can set up pretty much any 3D environment that you can imagine. It looks really great just because of the capabilities of Unreal Engine. You then set up a level C sequence which allows you to add a fake or a virtual camera into your scene animated around with depth of field all of the realistic physical properties a real life camera would have and then you can render that out and take it into compositing or post processing or edit it into a movie so it's a great tool i want to make a little bit of a maybe a mini series around how to create cinematic movies in unreal engine maybe a separate tutorial on how to add green screen footage like stock footage explosions or other stuff into Unreal Engine as well. So that's kind of on my roadmap. I do have a couple of bigger collaborations coming up pretty soon, but then I'll be looking at Unreal Engine and then Game Dev, Unity and other visual effects filmmaking stuff. But again, just trying to lay it all out and figure out what the priorities are and how time-wise it's all going to fit. And finally, just a fun little experiment. Did you know that you can actually create depth maps from images using tools such as Stable Diffusion, like the AI image generation can essentially reconstruct a depth map for your image. And so I've been trying to figure out, can I generate an image and then generate a depth map and use Blender to essentially map that image into the 3D geometry to create a 3D scene, essentially projection mapping that image into the scene so that you have a 3D environment to move around in. Obviously it's limited and I'm still trying to figure out whether the workflow can be refined so it doesn't look quite so but it's a fun little thing I've been experimenting with. If I figure out how to do that well, I'll make a tutorial for that as well. But for the time being, I just like watching the space of AI tools and playing around with them, and trying to figure out how I can use them to make better videos or help with my video game. Unity, by the way, is introducing some AI tools as well. One is called Muse, one is called Centis. They're meant to make it easier to then create your game, create assets or integrate AI models directly into your game. More on that a little bit later. But I just wanted to give you a quick update on where things are at. And I hope you're doing really well. If you have any comments, questions or suggestions, again, just leave them down in the comment section below. Also, if you have questions for the Q&A or stuff you want to know for a potential studio tour, leave all of that down below. And with that, thank you very much for watching and until next time, I will s throw my bottle over. And with that, I will see you later.